What is up YouTube, Roger here. Following my recent video on Calgarian Demons, I'd like to do a quick update video, as well as talk about some of the things in the process as well. Um, so, as you all know, my look at Cal Calgarian Demons has been pretty dire. And by pretty dire, I mean outright terrible, basically. So, uh, I've been there since release, basically, which is almost two weeks now. Well, yeah, it's, it's about two weeks. I got my final title last night, the Warmonger, and I killed thousands and thousands of these demons without any luck. I think my first title was pretty bad. That one took me a whole day. Then first to second took me like a week, and then I got third, fourth, and fifth within a week, which was quite lucky, but... I mean, at the same time, the second title took me a ridiculous amount of time to get. Um, however, I did uh, log the drops that I got, and from what you can see, I basically got 22 onyxes and almost five demon slayer sets, like, as well as some crossbows. And some other things like obviously a shield left half, as you normally would when you've killed some something that many times. You've got a uh, D med, as you would. Um, lots of diamonds, which I think that was like 20 mil worth of diamonds on their own, which was pretty sick. Then we had, you know, some other things like random rune items um, and a few ring of wealth drops like the onyx bolts, big bones and things like that. Uh, I didn't pick up the rune drops, the addy bars, and things like that, so chances are the drops would have added up to like another 25-30 mil if I had have done, which I kind of regret. I didn't think I was going to be there for that long, so I didn't bother since it would have taken a little bit of time to take some um, note paper and then just pick up each drop and then note it individually, and I was more there just trying to kill them as quickly as possible, so I didn't think it'd be worth the time. I guess it wasn't in the long term, but if, you know, you guys want to make some money, it is pretty damn good money. So if you want to go there and kill them, then, you know, I mean, you can even stand around, a lot of people leave rune drops on the floor, you can stand around and pick up drops if you like. But yep, um, finally got the Warmonger title, which I have heard will be a confirmed trim requirement in a few weeks. I'm surprised they didn't do that on release. I think they were going to, and then Mod, well, Mod Anna said, no, it'd be a bit harsh. And then Mod Ryan was like, no, we should do it. Which I agree, I think it should be a trim requirement. But at the same time, I was kind of hoping they wouldn't do it, because it's quite an elite title at the moment. And then as soon as like it gets made a trim requirement, there's like four or five hundred other people that are going to try and get it. So if you're a trim caper and you haven't got it, I would highly suggest go and starting it now. Because when it when the trim requirement comes out, if you haven't got it, it will take you weeks. And I mean weeks because it was difficult for me as it is on my own basically there. And when you've got like four or five hundred other trimmers doing the exact same thing, it's going to be a lot more difficult to do. So I would highly recommend doing it now. And um, yeah, so I mean, magic seems to be the best method to, to do to, to kill them. I've seen people try ascensions and apparently Virtus weapons are much better than ascensions there. So uh, that's quite surprising actually, but I mean, I guess they must be invisibly weak to mage because it says they have no weaknesses, but apparently they do. They are weak to mage. Or it seems to be they are the weakest to mage, because Drygors... Drygors seem to work alright, I guess, but range doesn't seem to work very well at all. And finally, I would like to uh, say that you can get the strong arm resting emote from the Solomon's General Store uh, for free. If you, as it's like a new free item for members thing, if you go to the Solomon's General Store, click on Strong Arm Resting, you get another resting emote. So I think that's three we've had for free? No, no, we've had two for free. We've had the Zen Resting and we've had the Strong Arm. So you should have two different resting emotes. It's a nice little variation. And there's some other cool stuff there that I've mentioned in previous videos, like the Dragged Under Teleport. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you all in oh, uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and I I'm hoping that some of the trimmers out there that are going for their title have a little bit better look than I do. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, cheers, guys.